Hey, good afternoon, folks, and happy Metric Friday. That's uh, Kenny Wayne Shepard and the Rebirth Brass Band, Palace of the King. I've seen him a couple of times. Really like Kenny Wayne Shepard. It's a great show. <clears throat> Horrible allergy week it's settled in my friggin' nose today. It's, one day it's absolutely miserable. The next day you're fine. The day after you're, you, you fucking hate allergies. Anyway, since it's Metric Friday, I thought we'd do a beer vid. And since the weather's really nice, I thought we'd do a local beer vid. This is from Borderlands Brewing out of Tucson. This is Citrana, southwestern style goes. Sour ale with sea salt and spices. It was a four pack of pints. I don't know why pints don't come in six packs. Everything else comes in six packs. Anyway, it's 10 IBU, 6.3 ABV with a three on the SRM, and SRM is the color scale. Um, standard reference model, I think, something like that. And then it was ERB on the other one. <sighs> is what it is. Anyway. They did this once before, and uh, really liked it, although to be perfectly honest, uh, Angus GT and I had just come from Strong Beer Fest downtown, and we stopped off at uh, State 48 to finish drinking while the traffic dissipated, and uh, was hammered when I did the review on this, and I said I would do a real one, so here's the real one. I did not go back and look at the other one, so I don't remember what I gave it. That shouldn't be an issue. Because I was hammered at the time. And uh, it's a really bad idea. But what are you going to do? Nice yellow color, cloudy. Camera's picking it up as more orange, but it's um, yeah, more like a sunny gold kind of color. Nice, got that sour nose. Uh, I guess you get a little bit of the spice on there. I uh, cheated, went on the Google Og machine here, and. Uh, from the Citrona page, from the Borderlands page, sorry, Borderlands. They gave me all kinds of interesting stuff, but it turns out that the spices in it are coriander, sea salt, and cardamom, and I love cardamom. Uh, for Christmas, I learned to make these like uh, gingerbread cookies from my grandmother, who was a Swede, Pipacolka, the cardamom cookies. One of my absolute favorites. I love cardamom. I even love the smell of it. From the beginning, Borderlands Brewing Company incorporated local ingredients into its beers and followed techniques that were introduced to the region by German settlers in the 1800s. Their recipes are inspired by the community around them and are well suited to being enjoyed during 110 degree desert afternoons. And those are coming. The weather guy said we'll be breaking 90 this weekend. I mean, summer's on our way. Let's give her a shot and see what she's got. Nice and sour up front, but not super puckery. Clean right through the middle. Finishes up with just that little soury with a little bit of spice on it, kind of tang on the back end. It's a really good beer. And the only downside to this is it's 6.3. When it's really hot and sunny out, I'd much rather drink like a 4 or a 4 or 5. Because, yeah, 110 degrees in a couple of these, and uh, I'm going to go take a nap or we're going to drink the house dry. So, I like this stuff, though. talking to Angus earlier and we really do need to get down to Tucson and hit the brew houses down there because it's really good stuff 
This is out of a can. I would imagine this stuff is unbelievable out of a keg. Four and a half. Four and a half easy, flat, hands down. So the four pack of pints cost me 12 bucks. Um, that's about all I got. I am going to sit here and shitpost a little and crank some more tunes. We'll catch you folks on the next review. Thanks for checking in. Please like, share, remind, hit a button up or down, leave a snarky comment, or don't, whatever makes you happy. Although, it helps me out if you do. And uh, I will catch you on the next review. Skull!